short demonstration about using the data graphics, customizing data graphics in Visio. I'm going to just insert some data and I'm just going to choose uh, some log chart data. And in there, you'll see that we've got some personnel there. And what I want to do is create myself a master uh, which has got some of data graphics on it. So the way that I would do this is, first of all, I'm just going to create a rectangle roughly the size that I want and then drag and drop any of these records onto it and that will connect it. And you'll see that we get default data graphics. And if I go to the data row here, we can see that it's created this data detail, data graphic. And if I go to data graphic fields, we can see that it's going to show the ones that it's got on there, the default ones. So the important thing about editing the data graphics using this data graphics panel here is that you must not, must not have uh, one of your shapes selected. You must come off the shape uh, before you edit in here, otherwise it creates you a new data graphic and that's not what you want. So click off that. And then we can see that we've got some data graphics there. Now, that's the, uh, the first thing. The second thing is that I actually want to have a master which has just got all of this data on there because now that I've connected to it, you can see it's got data in there and it's even created for me some hyperlinks, as you can see. So I've got a whole load of stuff on there, but this is... Uh, going to be my default shape which has got the data graph um, the data fields defined so I'm actually going to on this particular one I'm going to remove the data graphics I'm also going to remove and unlink it from the row so I've now got just a rectangle here oh, did I do the unlink data graphic fields share un unlink from row Right, I can see it was still linked because I had a little uh, chain icon showing down there. So I've now got a rectangle here which has got all of the data graphic fields, sorry, all of the data fields that I want. So I'm going to just show my document stencil and this uh, shape here now, I can drop it into there and I can rename that as person. Let's see. So that's my person shape, just a bland rectangle at the moment because I just want to have the data graphics when it comes out. So, of course, now with that person shape, if I was just trying and drag from the external data window and drop down, we now have got the default data graphics appearing in there and everything is uh, ready for me to start editing. So, what do I want to do? Well, actually, I'm going to change the department to, let's say, let's have that as color by value. All right, uh, name, I'm not actually want that name. I want to have the first name, last name. I want to have the title. I want to have, let's say, the, the grade on there, but these aren't the right sorts of uh, display that I want. So let's just go and edit them. So first name, I'm gonna configure that and I'm gonna change that to heading, it's like so. I don't want to have a default position. I want a bit of a center in the middle. And I'm not going to have that filled. Okay. So, last name. Same again. I'm going to have that as heading. I will have that one filled. And I won't have a default position. I want center again. And whole name. I'm not doing that one. Title. I'm going to have that and configure that and use the default position no again i'm going to go center and i like to have whoops heading three and not filled so it's now starting to look like a one okay now grade actually mm, grade i'm going to do something special with that because the, the values in grade we can see here from a through to e uh, with a one, two, and three, etc. So actually, let's not have a grade show directly. 
uh, I'll have a position. Uh, so the position, uh, as you can see, is executive manager, etc. So I'm going to change this to be a different icon than that. But I'll still have it as an icon, just to show we can do that. So I've now got uh, this shape here, which has got all of those data graphic configured how I want them to be for now. And in fact, if you do select on that and you just drop down the advanced data graphic, it will show you which one it is selected, which is that one there, data detail 14. So I'm just going to uh, click off that. And why don't I go in and rename that as uh, DG from person or something like so. So I've got uh, that and now when I drag and drop one of these off here we can see that we're getting the data graphic as uh, whoops I just dragged it on top of the same shape let's move out a little bit drag and drop and there we go so we've now uh, starting to get something like I want it to be but I want to go a bit further than that because you can only go so far with the data graphic panel I cannot use the same uh, item in detail more than once in here can I so there's no way I can configure it but if I don't if I want to I can go in and now edit this right and in there now I could say actually let's choose uh, department let's choose its text again I don't like to have the labels there uh, we'll have that as filled and let's do right uh, bottom and we'll give it a, a width of one it's one inch that should uh, now just give me the department down there so if I apply that we can see that we've got the department name on there and we've got a color and that's something you can't do with the data graphic panel is reuse the same um, item the same data value more than once another thing you can't do within there is do some custom formulas so let's do new item and in there I've got all of those now down the bottom here I've got more fields so I'm going to go down to custom formula and I'm going to do left of now what do I want I actually want to pick up that grade which is prop dot now these are the custom properties, uh, as they used to be called, now called shape data. And you will see that every single shape data row has got an underscore viz dm underscore in front of it, right? Because that's, that's been done automatically when we do that link data. So I'm going to go down to, uh, what's it called, grade? So if I do choose on that and choose one that will give me A, B, C, D, E, okay? Now I can do that as maybe as an icon set and maybe I do something like uh, this and let's put in, that's A, B, C, D, E. And I want that to be left, and I'll do that at the bottom. So hopefully that will nestle in the bottom left-hand corner when I do apply, like so. So now we've got some data graphics being set on there, and you can see that you can't see those last two I've added within the data graphic row, but they are in the custom DG person data graphic. And when I go back and pull one of these out from here it's going to be utilizing the one that I've asked for because it is for that data graphic set so that is how you can create yourself custom data graphics to go along with using the data graphic fields that we've got displayed in Visio.